Hey, what is up, boys and girls? I'm Keith the Gravenger, and today I'm going to be showing you some brand new Chaos Mode Survival Mode mods. So today I'm going to be showing you how to download, install, and use the new mods. So first of all, what you're going to need to do is plug in your USB flash drive and go to the dashboard, then go straight across to settings and go down to storage. Then you want to go to hard drive and gamer profiles and choose the profile which you want to use and mod on. And then what you simply need to do is move the profile over to your USB flash drive. This should take a few seconds. Once you've done that, you just want to go over to the USB flash drive and make sure it has copied over correctly. As you can see, it is copied over correctly for me. Once you've done that, you just want to back out and go to Modern Warfare 3 and just load up the campaign. And as soon as you're on the campaign, you simply just want to choose the memory device in which you want to save the game to. So choose your USB flash drive and then go to New Game and just choose Regular. Okay, so as soon as the campaign loads, you then have to watch a 2-3 to three minute video. I'm simply going to fast forward mine for recording purposes as this is not very interesting and it's not very down to the point. But as soon as this is finished and you're able to press save and quit on the start menu, that's what you want to do. So from here on inwards, as you can see in the video, you want to just press start, save and quit, then choose save and quit. As soon as this is finished, you'll go back out to the campaign main menu. From here, you then want to unplug your USB flash drive and plug your USB flash drive into your PC. You're then going to need a program called Horizon. If you do not have Horizon, simply go to YouTube and search up how to download Horizon free. So once you have it open, you want to go to your USB flash drive, go to the Modern Warfare 3 folder and drag your game save into the grey section and just put it to one side as you do not need it yet. On my desktop is then the modded game save. I will put a download link in the description so you can download this. I then put that to the right. So then you're going to have to copy and paste your profile ID from your game save and put it into the modded game save. If done correctly, as you can see, my gamer avatar will be in the bottom left hand corner. Then copy and paste the device ID and do the exact same for the console ID as well. So once that's completed, you then want to click the save, rehash and resign button. What that will do is change the game save which is on my desktop to make it compatible with my Xbox 360. You then want to close the two uh, windows which are in Horizon and then you want to open your flash drive and delete the game save which is on your flash drive. And once that's deleted, you then want to drag the game save uh, which is now the modded game save into your flash drive. You then want to choose your profile and what will happen then, it will take a few seconds just to load. Make sure you keep a few original copies of the game save which is modded, simply because you cannot use the same game save each time. But anyway, as you can see, the modded game mode is now on my USB flash drive. From here, you then need to go back to your Xbox 360 and plug your USB either into the front or the back of the console. You then want to go to Options, and then go to Select Save Device, and then choose your USB flash drive. And as soon as you've done that, just uh, back out and go back to resume campaign. Just choose the resume game and it'll take a few seconds to load. As soon as it's loaded, if done correctly on the screen, it will say something like custom digital mods v14. And when the campaign starts, you'll have some chrome vision. Uh, you'll also have your gun miles away from you and a few other different mods. So you just want to move around a little bit and then just uh, press start and then go to uh, save and quit and then save and quit again. And that will take you straight back to the campaign main menu. You simply just want to go back to the main menu, go to Spec Ops, and then go to Solo Play or Private Match, depending on if you want to play with friends. Then go to Chaos Mode and uh, choose one of the maps which you want to play. I chose uh, the Map Dome simply because I like the Map Dome uh, for Survival Mode Chaos Mode. And as soon as the game starts, you'll notice you have Chrome Vision. Uh, you also have your gun really far away, and there's a few different mods you also have. Uh, you can also install extra mods as well if you know how to use Horizon. You can also have mods such as wall hack and uh, knockback and a few other things however I'm just going to show you the extra health mod and the sort of like flop like a fish mod so as you can see you have uh, chrome vision so all the people are white and uh, your gun is really far away from you there is also a flop like a fish mod so when you kill one of the enemies their dead body will flop around like a fish it is a very pointless mod but I do think it looks pretty cool you will also be given the extra health mod. Unfortunately, it doesn't make you invincible, but it just means you can take a lot more damage, which will allow you to last a lot longer in the game, so you can get to a much higher point streak and get to a much higher place on the leaderboard. I'm not too sure how much extra health it gives you. I'd say about 10 times as much. But anyway, guys, there will be a download link in the description to the modded game save, so you guys can go and download that and try it for yourself. 
So anyway guys, if you did enjoy today's tutorial, then please can you give the video a like. Also, if you could leave a comment if you'd like to see some more tutorials, and if you could give me some feedback about the tutorial, that would be much appreciated also. And if you haven't already, then come subscribe to my channel, Okiotic Ravenger. I post all the latest and the greatest Call of Duty glitches. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.